Requested function will require two hours to complete. Hello, hello, hello. So we want to look at Lux version 3.9. I've been interested in this for a while. Now this was ported by Bass Painter, or maybe that's Bass Painter, but I always say Bass Painter. Basically, this is about 95 megabytes, and this is an interior lighting mod. It does affect a few exterior lighting areas, like giant campfires and stuff like that. Okay. Now, what they're trying to do is make everything more consistent and make it look nice. So that it makes sense when you have a light source, there's light. When you don't, there's darkness, but not crazy darkness. They don't want, you know, like NPCs to be working in the dark or something like that. It just seems kind of dumb. So they really tried to improve and make the lighting consistent throughout the game. Now, along with this mod, Lux version 3.9, there's a couple of other mods you need. The main one you need is the main file, the master file, Lux master file. You will need this. I don't know why you need it, but you need it, and I'm not going to get into all that. Oh, it says to help with LOD issues. Okay, so, so you will need this, again, ported by Bass Painter. If you're using... USSEP, that's that patch, then you will need this patch. If not, you don't need this. It's a small patch, okay? Now, I'm going to show you where I put these things in my load order. I'm going to have some mods that are turned off in my load order because we're going to do shows on them later, okay? So this is the master file. It's going to automatically push itself up to the top. So it's under the USSEP patch okay so that's the master file i have lux here now one note they have in their description and let's just be honest about this says that they want it at the bottom so it doesn't get overwritten i understand that but i always keep my lighting and weather mods high so for me the only other mods i have I have them turned off, and I have this here. This is the main file. Now, if you have any issues with it, though, then I would say, yeah, go ahead and move it down to the bottom. All these other mods I have, they're, they don't have anything to do with lighting. I don't have any city overhauls or anything else. But if you do, if you have any of those other types of things, then I would recommend that you follow their advice and bring that mod down and put it down here, maybe around alternate star in this bottom section where you do patches and stuff. What you need to be under the Lux master file. Let me just scroll back up here. What you need, I mean, the master file is going to be at the very top, so you can't control that. But this right here if you do move it down let's just go ahead and do it since the mo the mod author says that they they want it low but i don't know that it's totally necessary if you don't have any other lighting mods but let's just play along i'm going to bring it down here and put it very low this is stuff that either the mod author says need to be at the bottom needs to be at the bottom or it's patches what you want to make sure is underneath this mod is your your patch, and this. They said to make sure this too, uh, this Xbox One X Shadows, is underneath that mod. It would probably have some adverse effect if not. So I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to keep it down here since that's their... Um, that's what they suggest. See, it says Lux requires the bottom of your load order in order to work as intended and avoid being overridden. Now... In my case, I don't have anything that should be overwriting it. But nonetheless, let's just be safe. We'll put it down here. Now we'll hop out and we'll go in the game and we'll check and see what our interior lighting looks like. I'm using these three files. The master file, that patch, and then the main file. Let me get back to it. Here. Lux version 3.9. Okay. 
All told, all together, even with the patches, still only about 95 megabytes. Not a big deal for a lighting mod. And I thought this might be a good alternative to something like enhanced lighting and effects, which I have used in a previous playthrough and played around with and enjoyed. And just thought this might be interesting too, okay? So let's hop out, get in the game. We'll see what it looks like. I'll see you there in a minute. All right, so one of the best places to see interior lighting to me is always in Dragon's Reach. So let's pop in here. Let's look first person and just take a look and see how the lighting is. It's very nice. I like the way it's done. We'll check some other interiors out as well, but this is one of those places where interior lighting mods really, really do well. You can see through the windows, the light shining in, and it's coming from that side of the building because that's where the sun is. This is earlier in the morning, but it looks very good. And you can see up here around the fire, the light being shown around so overall i would say this this mod is doing a good job here in dragon's reach let's go somewhere else and check out some lighting just in a few other places just to give you an idea okay all right all right now we're in the bannered mare because i think the the ends they give you a different style of lighting I think overall, this looks good again. And this is just the interior lighting, okay? There are some exceptions where it says that it does some exterior lighting, but I think that's not a lot, and it looked like it was mainly concerning, like, giant campfires. So I wasn't going to worry about that right now. We're just going to look around at some interior places. Let's go look somewhere else. I think this looks good. Okay, so it brought us to Ulfric's place, the Palace of Kings. And other than a lot of talking going on, if you look around at the lighting, it looks good. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. Not too fancy. It's not too crazy. It looks good, though. The lighting in these different rooms looks fine. If by okay. You mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? I just thought I'd check down here real fast. The lighting looks good down here. You can see the shadows there from the fire. Okay. All right, so let's go. Um, dude, just get out of my way. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Um, we'll go somewhere else. Maybe we'll go check the college. I thought since we were in Windhelm, we would check out Candle Hearth Hall and see the lighting here. And I think it looks good. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. Okay. I think the lighting looks good. How can Elsa oh. hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about Susanna the Wicked? Let's take a look down here. The lighting looks fine. Okay. So now maybe we'll go up to the college and check out some different lighting because that place should be different than these. Okay. Okay. So I just came in the Hall of Elements here. It's in the afternoon. It's kind of dark here. And the lighting, wow, he just kind of appeared. The lighting is good here at these windows, but a little darker around these those other locations. So I guess it's going to change depending on the time of day. Now let's see, can I? It won't let me wait here. I'm not an actual student of the college yet. 
So I can't wait right now. But you'll notice how dark it is back here at the entranceway. Even though it has these lights, this really should be better lit. I, I don't know why they're keeping this dim with these light sources, but they are. Now this makes more sense because you've got more light here with the sun coming through these windows. And less light, but it's not dark, but less light over here, which is fine. So I just think this alcove, this entryway foyer is it's a little too dark. But let's travel up to the... Oh, I can't get into these places. It's the problem of not being... I'm not a part of the mage, mage's college, so... All right, so let's move on. Let's go one more place if I can think of somewhere good. Okay, so it's morning time, about nine in the morning. Yeah, and we're here in the Blue Palace. And again, the foyer here is a little dark, but now this foyer, to be fair, only has windows and just a couple of little light sources. So it's a little dimmer here. Still, I wouldn't expect it to be this dark. And this, these light sources are over here out of the way. So this is also a little dark. It does give you some dramatic lighting, though. But it, this could be just a little bit too dark. Nonetheless... The lighting up here is not that great either because they don't have a lot of light sources. So this is actually kind of a dark court. Look over here how dark this is. This is really, really too dark. Now this is in the Blue Palace. And it's around 9.40 in the morning. Again, this mod gives you some dramatic lighting, but... Perhaps, perhaps a little too much uh, here. Let me see if we have, I don't know if I have a torch or not. Let me scroll down. A lot of times I do, but I don't always have one. Depends on what we've been doing. No, I have one torch. See, there's, <laughs> this guard is standing over in the dark. You would never see them. Okay, so this this lighting mod, I like the idea of it, but I think some of the interior lighting for some of these areas probably needs to be worked on. That's just my thoughts, and it's just, you know, me. That doesn't mean that uh, everybody has to agree with me, but if you'll notice... You can't even hardly see that guard there, and it's just really dark. I wonder what their My rooms are like here. Let's go back here. Oh, she's going to go to bed. Well, her room is pretty dark. It's not unusual for her to come back here and go to bed. So I think maybe some of the darkness is a little overdone in certain places. I do like the way it creates dramatic lighting here, if you'll notice from the windows. And that's a good effect, but I think you need... I mean, this needs to be a little brighter during the daytime. I, I don't think having it be this dark um, is... Mm, well, it may be realistic, maybe, since they don't have torches here, but I think if it was really this dark, they would have sconces or something and they would have light fixtures here so i i don't think this is really producing it's producing the dramatic lighting we like but i think it's just got some things are too too dark now that's just my rough impression after going a few places i really liked the way dragon's reach looked but here for this to be a palace this is just way too dark and it's not a vampiric palace. All right, I'm going to take us one more place. All right, so I'm in Volkahar Castle. It is way too dark here. I can't see anything. And this is a vampire place, and I'm not welcome here. So, but if you'll notice, it's just 
it's dark. Now, maybe for vampires, this makes more sense, but this is really, really dark. They have some light sources, but those light sources just are not giving off enough light. This is really, really dark. I about need my torch just to wander around. Again, I think the idea of the dramatic lighting effect is good, but this is too dark of an interior for me. Yeah, this should be a little better lit than this. Um, you know, we do have lights and candles around. So, this is... I think this is too much darkness. So whereas Dragon's Reach looked really good, um, a lot of these other places, or at least some of them, are too dark. They don't like me being here. I'm just wandering around with the vampires. Da, 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 da. Bother someone else. But some of this is, you know, it makes sense this would be dark, say. But yeah, I think some of this is probably a little too dark. You disrespect our lord by speaking to me instead of him. Well, I didn't speak to you, but whatever. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to see certain things. Okay. All right, so it's interesting. Hmm, I wonder if my torch would really help much. I get the feeling my torch is not helping that much. Here's that challenge. Oh. Mind yourself. <laughs> he's eating, but he's complaining. Okay, well that's kind of funny. Yeah, without a torch, I don't know if I could see to get around here very well. Even with the torch, it's not that great. Yeah, see, this is really... Some of this is really dark, even with the lights there. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna... Hmm. Because of this, I'm gonna take us somewhere else. I'll be back. Okay, so we're in Markar. This is Understone Keep. It is about noon. Now, admittedly, there's no windows here, so I guess you wouldn't expect a lot of exterior light. There's not a lot of light sources here. But I think this ends up being, again, too dark. I mean, it's really difficult to see much. Now, in my game, let me show you my game setting just so you'll know. Um, my display setting is just average brightness, nothing unusual. I think that's pretty much the default. So this is just... I think this is just a bit too much darkness. It does give you some dramatic lighting. But yeah, a lot of these people are going to spend a lot of time in absolute darkness. <laughs> the Dominion is I think this is way we too dark for routine you use. What? You oh, oh, lady. Um, here. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. I wasn't going to say anything. You just Keep your eyes open don't bother me. When you're on the roads. Okay. Anyway, so you can't see very good. It's too dark. Hmm. I'm going to go to an inn, though. Let's go down to the inn in town. I'll see you there in a moment. All right. Now, we're in the Silver Blood Inn. It looks brighter here. Good afternoon. Don't mind the yelling. My parents are always going at each other. 
I'm what you'd call so the lighting here is better. But I admit that they also have more light sources. But I think I think this is probably more appropriate for an interior during the day. It's around it's afternoon now, but I don't think they would be living in the perpetual darkness we've seen in some of the other places. So I think this lighting mod, I like the idea and the uh, the idea of the dramatic lighting and all of that. But I think I think it's leaving some places too dark. Okay, uh, let's hop out and look at the mod again. All right, so we're looking at Lux now. Remember that it has this master file at the top. I did move the mod low like they wanted us to do. It's 95 megabytes. This is version 3.9. I did do a hard reset and all that business. Um, I do have the USS EP patch. Okay. However, I really love the idea and I like the idea of this mod. And some places look really good. But some places are way too dark. It just, you know, it's just not, I mean, it's, I guess, immersive darkness, if you want to say that. But I think it's just way too dark in some places. Uh, the interior of the Blue Palace and some of these other places, they're not going to be that dark. Now, I realize that the way they made the game, that some of these places do not have a lot of light sources. But that being the case, I, I, you know, I can't just have the Blue Palace be dark all the time. So it looks good in a lot of ways. It gives you some great uh, dramatic lighting that I really did like. But there's a lot of places where it's really just way too dark. So... I wanted this I wanted to use this mod and try this mod but I have to say and it's not compatible with any lighting mod or mods that add lights so I can't just like throw in say like Skyrim is lit or something that adds a lot of light sources so I can't just throw that in so I don't think I can really use this for my purposes because I don't like traveling around in that much darkness. I might change my mind and give it a whirl and see if I can get used to it. But it just seems like these some of these places like the Blue Palace, the Understone Keep, they would have those areas lit up better than that. They would be able to see better. Um, and I, I don't want to combine this up with uh, EOFX. I just don't think that would be a good idea. I think that would probably give me issues. So, okay. So, I wanted to use this. I still might try it. But it's a little disappointing that some of that ends up being so dark. Hmm. You know, if you like it. Now, you may like it. If you like it, some people really like the game to have more darkness and more dark places. So if you like that, that's great. You should give it a whirl and see what you think. But for me, I think that's I think that's too much. I think it's too much darkness. Like when I'm in the Blue Palace there, and I can't even see in that corner where that guard is. <laughs> I think that's too dark for my purposes, okay? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Stop right there, criminal scum! This has been an How That's March production.